No, I don't. Here we go. This is our first matchup of Eves on, on his uh, unicorn outfit. Because, I commend him. You know, at some point, right? You just... I don't have the guns for that. I couldn't pull that off. Oh, yeah. No, I don't. Here we go. This is our first matchup of the day. It is going to be the solo warm up. Looks like we got the bus going from west to northeast. You're going to have uh, kind of a, it's kind of a straight this is down going the right over split. Tilted. You've got, yeah, tilted is relevant, retail, dusty divot. Uh, even, I uh, wouldn't be surprised if you don't see some people going to uh, Wailing Woods and, and even further south. Like right now, uh, Ninja and Marshmallow maybe making a play towards uh, Lucky Landing. That's a pretty common spot for, for Ninja to go. Uh, I think he likes the pink tree. It's very pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think uh, with this solo matchup too, we're going to see. And also, I just want to uh, mention here. You know, you're seeing uh, the observer uh, mode for the first time, which the as a time. As, an e as an esports guy, you know, I'm actually pretty happy about that. Would it's you look at that even spread? I know. That is kind of. It's shocking. kind of mathematical. Oh, there's Myth. We already had one not sticking the landing in the feed. I didn't catch the name on it, but somebody went down very oh, early. Oh, no. You hate to see that happen. Yeah, Myth, I hate is, it. Myth is scouting. There's other people there's, here. There's going to be what? an encounter. Oh, He's going to land. He's going to get that gun. <laughs> we got Cypher. Cypher, the his... first thing he picked up was a trap. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> and a regular skin, because why not? The no skin. You know, I respect that, Dylan though. Dylan Francis going down. Sometimes you want to you want to jump in there with the with hype, regular skin. Some some sick key binding change <laughs> plays right now. Incredible gameplay. And actually, we have Mark a couple eliminations already coming through right now. Uh, Dreads ended up taking out back the back, back kid. No. Oh, it's so sad, so sad. Oh. King Richard actually got an elimination got on Darkness 429, and Tim, I, Tim going man. down the rest rifle. in peace. Tim is out of here. Tim. Yeah, out of here, Tim. <laughs> Bam Step took, it, took out typical gamer, a gamer uh, uh, well known for winning some recent events as well. An excellent player, and uh, Marcus Scribner did not stick the landing. <laughs> taking out Scissor with the shotgun, and uh, we're just kind of. Hanging out here, Cypher uh, maybe setting up shop on the outside. Does have that trap, Myth, the skin. Anybody seen the skin before? I've never seen uh, it, it before. Seems like it, it might be new. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Very solid. You're after. just making a lot of people really, really mad right now. That's it what you're doing. Smile. I know. You just like bringing we, sadness. We little dance moves here. This little spot behind Retail Row. It's one of my favorite spots to land. Now, there's players like Myth out here. Let's see. Yeah, he's got some counterparts, like Ninja, down here, far south end. Lucky landing. He's going to have to make a little bit of a move to stay relevant within the zone. He actually does have a player that's going to be around him as well, so that will be Gotaga, by the way. Don't let him know. I'd like to see these two guys run into each other. I know. They're both really good players. Ninja trying to build up, uh, uh, again, making the key binding plays here. <laughs> these, these players, these key binding plays are incredible. Now, uh, you can only do so much until you get into the, into the live game, agreed. right? Mm -hmm. Agreed. you got to wait just a second, you know, get established, and then make, th make Make sure things are set up how you want. Now, Ninja's taking a second. He's still changing his keybinds. We have a view here of what is Lucky Landing, or at least the building that he's in. Now, we saw Gotaga's out there. You might see some interaction between They are between very the close. They're both outside the zone, so you're going to have to rotate in at some point. Uh, and they're not the only pairing out here. You have a ton of players playing they're safe. They're right next to each other. They right they're right next to each other. Ninja's building up. Ninja's going to go. The portal port port port. Gotaga playing a little defensive and some shots. Porter Fort goes down. down. Fire the walls down. Oh, Ninja, I mean, that's some streamer loot right there. You get that, <laughs> turn the corner, and you just get yourself a blue AR. Okay. Now, let me check this. Did he take some shots and then go in hot? The seri most serious face you can see on this guy, very focused. But it looked like he took some shots, kind of trying to get Kataka kind of, uh, you know, moving around, uh, uneasy about his position, and then just kept looting. He switched out to the, the blue uh, the blue AR. Looks like he's taking another shot at maybe his team. Markiplier just uh, got an elimination as well. Noah J gets one. So the eliminations are starting to come through. We have 72 players remaining in our first matchup, our, our warm-up solo game. Little Yachty ended up getting an elimination on Hand of Blood. <laughs> Little Yachty was good. With Lowry took out uh, Tariq Cohen. We've got Kinstar here, one of the more notable players to watch. Uh, chilling in the middle of, of Tilted. And uh, he's it's surprisingly not seeing much. Now, we, we still have Ninja, Myth on the outside. You see here, Myth in the middle of a, what appears to be a build fight. This is it. Big now, moment. This is just southeast of Retail Road. Just bombing the nades in, trying to, trying to knock his, his opponent out. Performing uh, on the big stage. Kind of without the, without the, the no work there. Now, I would like to see Myth push in and do all of the work uh, if, if that can happen. But it's going to be get the shirt, though. Place. He didn't I know. get the shirt. I'm disappointed. Actually, he did get the shirt. Did I he? hope so. I, I wonder. I know I did. There we go. I know I did. Look at those glasses. Looking stylish as always. Myth and the, uh, the iconic Skull Trooper skin. 
You know, while we were talking, Muselk, he actually cleaned out Wailing Woods. Really? Knocked out, yeah, knocked out everybody in there. And he's just been hanging out in there for the past couple of minutes. He is just hanging out. Australia's <laughs> very own. <laughs> I just see him all the way out in the, in the middle of nowhere, just dancing in a forest by himself. Cypher's out here all alone as well. He doesn't have too much to challenge him right here, just going for the materials. And Fortnite, like, like we were saying before, building is a huge piece uh, right. of... of advanced gameplay in here. You can, it's one thing to just put down platforms and ramps and stuff, but even Cypher and we cut over to Ninja here, everybody's gathering up materials. They're gonna run into each other. Gataga's actually gonna go right into Ninja. Ninja's shots. taking some oh. shots. Gataga, he's challenging for him, but Ninja's gonna end up playing defense here, Lupo. The quick swap and build, just trying to build up uh, anything. And here you go, elevation, super important. He's building a stamp. Oh. Ninja almost dropped out there. He's gonna push here because he got some shield tags on him, so he's in, at, in an advantageous position. He's thirsty. Position. Oh, he's thirsty. Go for it, brother. Gotaga, he's in a world of hurt. Ooh. So close, Gotaga. He's playing defense, but right now, though, Ninja has control. He's just gotta play this one out smart. Oh, and look at the health there. You can see the health right on the feed. Ninja tackling up. They're right next to one another as well. This is really tough, and now you're gonna see his Ninja's gonna start building with Brick because he doesn't have any more wood. Ninja's gonna be very weak. He's 19 was, HP oh, remaining. The boogie Gotaga's bomb coming going out. in. Oh, the boogie bomb comes through. Oh, no. the boogie bomb. Oh, Elimination. Oh, Gotaga dropping the dance moves. Oh, Disco, my. Well Disco. played. Well played. Gotaga's, Gotaga. What a day. Your first elimination is Ninja. How do you feel? With a pump, too, in this patch. He, <laughs> he did it. He that, did the darn thing. That was a good play. <laughs> the, darn, the darn thing was done. Now you watch that a fight like that from the outside, from a, you know the, the, an unbiased third party perspective, and the building was just crazy. The building was yeah. also that kind of was game changing because elevation is everything, especially with a shotgun. Yep. You're hoping to ha get the top down, you know the blast right on top of somebody, and that's exactly how things played out. Just a, a quick little whip shot, the shotty, and that was it. Storm well, is coming in. Things are getting a little bit tighter. Exactly. I was just about to say that. With the storm now starting to collapse, things are going to start to get very interesting. Certain players are going to have to make some moves. You know, I, I see it all the way over by Flush Factory. You have Xavier Woods hanging out. <laughs> just doing his thing over there. Love the egg backpack. You've still got a number of players that are chilling pretty far outside the zone now. Uh, if you're at home watching, you, you can't necessarily see this, but... Is a little uh, fighting down by retail right now, Fem Femstep? Just really? knock someone. Yeah, Femstep is fragging. Steph took another, an, got another shock and elimination on Trimax, and, and Xavier's just hanging out on the outside, moving in for Flush. Flush might have been the safest choice for him, honestly. Uh, very little. Cypher's in a fight. Cypher's going to be in an engagement currently, but Cypher is going to be in a really good spot. Ends up tagging that player for a substantial amount of damage. It's going to be Jordan versus Cypher, and that Cypher. is going to do it. Cypher gets the Woo! elimination. That gray AR coming in big there. Uh, is, wait, was that a was Xavier sneaking like a uh, he's, he's on a little little reverse crab walk there? What's what's going on? I don't know, maybe he's gonna if he finds someone he'll just throw some pancakes at him or something. I don't know. I would I would hope. I would hope. Let's take a second check back in with Myth when we have an opportunity because he was hanging out. Uh, that little build fight now things played out and I, I want to make sure that he's doing doing okay. Go Taga, uh, as we, we were saying earlier, watching that fight. Uh oh, now, one shot girl, Jeffrey, Myth, all kind of in the same area right there. There's a lot that's about to happen, people. It's about to go down. There is some potential, <laughs> potential destruction here right now. The crowd Close. chanting Myth's name. Oh yeah. Just They're don't want to see him go down to fall damage. Is all I'm saying. Now, Gotaga, after winning that 1v1 against Ninjas, uh, he's, he needs, he's to gather up a little bit more resource. Some, mm -hmm. uh, you see him smacking the trees. He's got a uh -oh. shot. The scope, they are super powerful. Just tap fire away at your opponent. He's going to start pushing in, getting a little more aggressive. No shield, but he, no big deal, apparently. And Xavier Woods, I just saw Felton. Oh! Gotaga oh. getting flanked from the side. The northeast shot's coming in. Not sure who that was based on the map. Trying to figure that out. I was coming from the stables over there. I, I could not see who that was currently. I think we have uh, Jordan. Gotaga and where, I, mean, I believe I saw Myth here as well, but Gotaga still taking even more shots. And here comes Myth on the prowl. He's getting Let's aggressive. Go, getting there. Oh. Very aggressive. Oh. Coming in that that kind of long range shotty blast, uh, the, the green pump still, I mean, it's on the green, but it's still super powerful. Yeah. He just snipes him from a distance with it. Love it. Myth has been on the move this entire game, and I really, li I really like the movement. Yeah, his, his, just his approach. I mean, I, you know, Myth, he, he kind of like tailors how he wants, depending on you know the, the situation. And the guy mm -hmm. can play a variety of styles, right? You know, if he wants to kind of turtle up, get into a one by one, kind of play that one out slow, he can. He's capable of doing that. But he's also, oh wait a minute, just as I'm talking about, we got Nick Burks in, in, in here. He's the king star. He's a king star. Oh look, king star. He's trying to lure him in. Now remember, it's 150 damage from the trap. So uh, with Nick Merckx being 
in 100-100, it's not going to take him out. But no. there will still be, I mean, that means there's an opportunity for a crazy shotgun blast, something nutty to happen. And it's all going to depend and, on and whether And surely or Nick smart. hears the movement as well, right? Like, that's what mm -hmm. I'm wondering as well. Like, he has to hear that Nick movement. doesn't look like he wants a part of this right now. Listen, Nick's just here trying to find an apartment to rent, okay? And Sar's going to give him, got to give him some time. That's why, keeps, a lot that's of why he keeps here. going back time and time right? again. He's that's not why he always goes estate. to Tilted, man. Real estate's a big deal for him, okay? The rent's too high. You know, that's why he's trying to look for a new place to live. Now, see this this little structure kind of on the outside. I didn't care. Okay, I was going to say, if it's not attached to the ground, that thing is very oh. risky. Okay, Star, just dropping on down, okay. pushing around the back side of the taco building, looking at the the park over here, moving to Grandma's house in a moment, it looks like. Just, again, you see all these these players. The, the high skill players are definitely going to try and get as many resources as they can while they're moving. Yeah. Because if you don't have them in the middle of a 1v1, things can go bad. Cypher just got another elimination. Now, by retailer, it looked like a little bit of a build fight, but he, the he came out on top. The storm is coming, pad. Oh, I just heard. He does have a jump pad. CDN versus Nanaka. OK, CDN. <laughs> See, you don't have a teammate to rocket ride in this situation, so you're going to have to uh, try you're and take out You're going to have to figure out your own way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Watch those shots. The six Clean hit. Nice shield. Shot. Doesn't have any shield, Nanaka though. still chilling the top that, that height advantage now i just i don't like it that cdn doesn't have the height advantage here this is so bad oh, seven, eight, seven, eight, eight, seven hp remaining you're gonna have to hit this headshot brother let's go nanaka's going for it oh, oh. that's gonna do it nanaka will get the elimination onto cdn the third the squeeze he's gonna have to wait until the duos match up but back over to myth for the time being sees a, a couple players now, you see how Miss moving south right now is he, he might be taking an opportunity to try and gatekeep here and just keep anybody out oh. that he can. That looks exactly like what he's doing with that minigun there. 293 and ammo, he's ready to just unload. Oh, Gotaga got another elimination, but that was going to be inside of the storm. Myth is going to get caught in here as well. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Believe. I keep believing. Run and then turn around and go, come here, boy. Oh. I that's rough. Those shots were coming from Gotaga. Very, very far out for Gotaga as well. So I'm kind of concerned for him in this instance. But Kinsar is also going to be in a world of hurt, taking a lot of fire. He's, it looks like Nick Merckx is at the top of the castle building in the middle of Tilted, just taking shots from the distance at Kinsar. Now, I, I couldn't tell. He might be, he's in a pinch situation, which is why, why Nick is just taking shots when he can. Uh, Kinsar, we saw earlier, really, really good at taking uh, advantage of Elevation, and that's why he's just building up as high as he can. Wiz just running around the bottom, trying to keep things safe. As no, as as can. Oh. The South C4 can yeah. start. Be yeah, careful there, it. brother. <laughs> Sentry just to. got taken out. He he's going to have to. Oh, really? I yes. Oh, man, but he's just going to have to stabilize here for a moment. What a, what a flip in elevation, too. Yeah. Uh, Frizz, Frizz building up above. Uh, Kinsar dropped down below as he pickaxed out his own structures. And too. there's also another, uh, I believe I saw some fire coming uh, Player from the left side as well. Player entered the game. Yeah, I'm trying to see who that is all the way over there. But regardless, though, Kinsar out was able to restabilize and was able to at least pop the last remaining one mini, mini potion that, they ha that he had every, left. Every little bit of help helps, man. Even right now, though, 95 HP, that means a body shot from a bolt action can take him out of the game. Campfire coming in clutch here. Now you see how he like he put the he put the platform down, the campfire, and then the ramp above because he's still within the box where the campfire exists. So he's still getting the healing from that. It's still effective, but he's not exposing himself to anybody. He's not sitting in, in a predictable spot. Even if people see the campfire, he's not necessarily there. He's right above it. And what he's doing right now is uh, basically just edit peeking, right? It's something that you see a lot of top players do, where they would go into edit mode and they would you know just tap on a couple of the boxes that are there so that they could get some better vision without exposing themselves. It's a very common thing that you're going to see players do. And like I said before, the best players take advantage of it very well. But Kinstar, though, is so concerned about the player that's going to be behind him, which was Frizz. It was all the way up in his wooden tower there. Interesting that Kinsar would take the opportunity to back out of that. He is relatively close to Nick Merckx. Oh! <laughs> the disrespect! Oh, boy. Well, that is going to be a lot of... Look at that, 529 wood that he was able to obtain. So Nick Merckx going... So Going deep into the game, man. It looks like King Richard to top that mountain to the southeast of Pleasant Park. Just got an elimination. Nate shot's going to be coming down from above. Courage is lingering right around Pleasant as well. Noah J coming into the Blue Lake. And a little lake. back and forth. Myth dropping some C4 down. Try, just trying to see. He's, it's like it's fishing with dynamite. You got to see what you can get with it. Myth looking to get this pick. Finds a play in front of him, but the defense Close very the well, top. very well played there. Now this is Nick Merckx, if, I, uh, if I'm correct. Oh! Get the drop. 
Buzel. Australia oh, Mario. He's there we go. He's fragging. Wow. Honestly, an excellent game played by Myth. Uh, I think he should be proud of, uh, of, of how he performed thus far. Yeah, not bad at all. Now, Nick's still out here. Oh! And Nick just took insane damage. Musalk is fragging. He's got the purple. He's got the purple AR out. He's also got a legendary heavy shotgun, which is kind of the meta right now because it's one of the few shotguns that didn't get nerfed. The zone. The zone. The zone Nick, is coming you didn't in. See him. Nick. Oh! oh! Musuk is tearing it up right now, he's, man. He's got the loot. He's got the loot. He's got the kills. He's doing. He's doing it big. Five limbs. Wow. Can start. This is the same player earlier that was editing just to peek through. He's built up this time in a little metal box. Fri Frizz and Kinstar have been friends uh, in this game for a while. I think they're just trying to hang out, and there's a misunderstanding happening. There's no. Yeah. There's no reason they're trying to shoot each other, right? Wit, Wit Larry's still alive. Muzel. Lalito, courage, and uh, the very he's camp at the very edge of Pleasant right so now. So if you look at the current position of the circle right now, it really benefits Lalito as well as JT Brown. A lot of the other players are going to have to push in. Their courage is lingering by the outside, still hanging out in Pleasant Park. King Richard though makes a tag happen. He's going to put down some damage, force that player to have to play defense here. Now, King Richard and Vixar are both exceptional players, so like a, a, an elevated fight like this, a top-down fight, Rich is it, it has an advantage. He didn't even realize that Vixar backed out, by the way. And Noah is, I feel like Noah's kind of just, he's just listening in from the outside and see if they're, oh, King Richard pushing like crazy. He wants this. Take advantage of that jump pad, the launch off. You don't take fall damage from those things every time when, when you bounce off one. So it's, a, it's an excellent play to get just as aggressive as possible to push on somebody. And I think... He, I think he might be trying to take advantage of that. He's he chasing after Vicstar. He's chasing. He doesn't realize Noah J is still to his left. Yeah, he's actually going to get on him. He's going to get pinned right from now. the left if he's not careful. King Richard's going to start Rich, to take some damage here. Be careful, my friend. They're after you. We'll build up the defend. Oh, he I like this. The aggression. Aggressive. Here we go. Now they're going to be right in front of one another. King Richard's going to be super low there on his shield. Ends up losing. Nice. We'll have 13 right remaining. Quarter. Look at the damage that was just done there. Forcing him back. There we go. Oh, what a Fixed shot. Star was not enough. Well played, Against the Rich. king. Well done. Big star going down. An exceptional player. I played against him a couple times. But no Jay dropping rockets in. That, that, that was, this was the pinch we were worried about. Exactly. Rich is, it, it has time to heal up because he has a, the, the structure built around him, the metal screw. Oh, wait to this side! No, drop it into the box! Oh, Let's go, dude! Oh, my goodness, we're down now to the top eight players remaining in this matchup. You have Noah J, Musso, JT Brown, Courage, Kinstar, Lolito, as well as Nade Shot. These are the last players left alive in our first match of the day. This is, this is awesome. JT Brown might get spotted by Courage here. There might be some knowledge there. Uh, yep, there's shots coming out from Courage. Hopefully we can cut to that as fast as we can. Uh, Noah, Drezzo about to run into each other. Is that a gray SMG I see from Drezzo? <laughs> He's oh. playing the meta. That's some end game loot right there. <laughs> One of the best weapons <laughs> in the game. Don't deny it. Don't deny it. Now, people hate now, on, the, on the gray SMG. If you notice, this I feel like is a number of these players are taking, if you recall, Joel McHale said he was going to hide in the box. Yeah. There are a number of players that are hiding in boxes right now, and I think I, I feel like Joel can take credit for a lot of that. Yeah, he, a lot. That's his strategy. Or to blame. You know? <laughs> or to blame. <laughs> one or one or the other. Oh, Musso against Courage. Oh, this is such a sick fight. I'm so excited for this. Courage is such a good player, but musso has been on a tear. He's gonna have that gold heavy shotgun there. Primed and ready to go. And his shopping no cart. No way. Can't forget. And if, if he pulls out a shopping cart play, I'm gonna lose it, dude. <laughs> Build mounts. He, no, he, he, no, he has Are to. You He's doing me? it. He's doing the thing. Are you? It's for charity. You have to. You, ha you, you kind of have to. <laughs> Get it. Here we go, brother. Let's go. go. Let's go. This Let's is what go. I wanted. This is what I wanted. Pro Amex games. Yes, Let's, Let's go. go. No! Courage. Courage. No. no. One oh, HP, dude. No. One HP remaining for Musel. He's in such a bad spot. Get that port of fort going, man. <laughs> He's gonna have to at this point. He's got one in the pocket. He can use it. He has an opportunity. Courage, though, still watching from above. The launch pad. Musel just gonna swoop away, fly like the <laughs> brother. Get out of there. Get Save those yourself. Drops. No, I mean, he's so weak, He's though. Tap fire coming in from behind. He's got to build up, defend himself. <laughs> My what is happening? <laughs> I, listen, I, can we I, all just take a moment to appreciate Musel for at least going for the shopping cart play? Absolutely. Go to the I highlights. Wanted. That's what I wanted, I like Cassie. That. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Courage is also going to be swooping in as well. Onto Trezzo, who's still living with that gray 
suppressed SMG. I'm telling you, man, the best is you don't sleep on it, okay? It's like a laser beam now. He's like getting shot at from above. It, oh, oh, wow. Inch. Two players taking shots from above. Kinstar oh, and Paulito both fired It was down. a good run. Yeah, I'm not, uh, listen, between Kinstar and Courage and, and Noah J, this is, these are three very good players. This, this is, is intense, man. Yeah. Six players remaining here, folks. It all comes down to this. Now, a lot of these players, especially, uh, I think, the, the ones that are really pushing for a win are going to start. You see here, Courage even trying to line up a hunting rifle shot. But they, they're going to build up in these one-by-ones, get elevation, just wait, play position. But Courage, you can see uh, the mini-map at the top right. He's outside of the zone. That's going to be safe. So he's, he's forced to move in a moment. And Noah is not, so he can gatekeep, just wait for it. He's going to build up just a little bit, trying to take a shot on Noah so he, he doesn't have to push in while being shot at, but I don't think he's got a chance. Courage is taking a lot of shots there. We have Kinstar, has a player in his sights. So many miniguns in this game. Yeah. I think because of the recent the recent changes with uh, weapon damage against structures at range, the minigun has become a really big go-to. It's far more viable buildings. now. Absolutely. It just absolutely shreds through it structures. It spins bullets, man. Yeah, so fast. No reason for you not to use it at this point in time, especially with how these players are going to be playing very defensively. Oh, look at Lolita, so low. He's, He's just hiding. He's just waiting. Kinstar, please forget that I'm down here. I'm just here, alive. minding my own business. It's okay. You know? Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Kinstar, Kinstar was having none of that, Lupo. None of that. And that is going to be another elimination. Four players remaining in this matchup. And into action, Courage was eliminated. So it's Kinstar, Nate Shot, Noah J, and Drezzo, who's still rocking that gray yeah. suppress SMG. He, he was, what is he was who was sitting inside the box earlier too. What? He's still alive. He's still out here. Kinstar making a play, the push coming off the jump pad just to, to try and fly in. And you realize Kinstar, they not, literally have no idea. He's not looking down at Drezzo. Drezzo could wait to the very last second and win this thing with he one just elimination. Let them fight. The, welcome to Fortnite. <laughs> you know, he out of the gas left. station. Hey. The for the crowd. Yes. America's favorite gamer. <laughs> oh, man. Might as well pass the time. Yeah, right? He's delicious. Eating the popcorn. Kinstar <laughs> building a trap box for himself to hide inside. Don't far more push. intense over here with Kinstar. Do not push Kinstar because you're going to have a bad time. Yeah, it's uh, going to be. You don't want to get caught in there. A little spiky. Won't feel good. <laughs> no, unless you want some acupuncture or whatever. <laughs> Kinstar safe inside the zone. It's starting to close. 25 seconds till the, the next circle, and we're coming up on the very end of the forced end of this game. Now, in some pro scrims and and and, uh, and competitive play, you've seen we I, I've seen situations where it becomes a structured tube, basically a vertical building where people just try and 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 heal like crazy, and the best healer wins. Do you think that's how this is going to play out? Nate shots pushing in now, but no. Nobody's looking down. Could very well be the case. Four players remaining. It all comes down to this. <laughs> I just heard. I see guys. I don't know. Out of butt. We got the comms oh, coming no. in here. Little, little concerned that he's uh, worried about the. You know he's DPI in a good right position now? when DPI is the only thing he's worried about. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Is is does Dresel still have that gray no. suppressed SMG? No. I wonder. If he no, doesn't, I'm good. gonna be mad. Can't think not oh, good. Okay, you got the you got the pickaxe out for right now. He's like Noah's starting to he's doing a little bit of checking. Shots come out. He's looking down, I believe, on Nate shot. Using that purple AR, just spamming shots down Nate shot. Building himself up, trying to keep things protected. Now in a situation like this, Nate shot, his best opportunity might be what he's being forced to do, and that's build down. You know, edit, edit your way out from, from the top and get underneath to get inside this massive structure that started to appear out of nowhere. Noah's still looking around, trying to find his targets, see who's left. And it, it's tough to believe sometimes if you're in a situation like this that there are actually four players still in the circle because you feel like you can see everything. <laughs> the circle but is so this. tiny. These guys are playing so carefully. Noah's building up a wall. Gray SMG still in play. <laughs> Makes you wonder how many campfires Noah might be Oh, <laughs> that's the music Drezzo. has died. Drezzo going down. <laughs> The gray SMG legend. You know, I, I, I admire him for. You made it that far. I, I the admire him for sticking to it. You did you better know? than I would have done. Yeah. And that's why I'm casting. Nate shot. Oh, Nate shot. Nate shot goes Star. down. Now it's one v one situation. Kinstar, Noah J, and Kinstar knows exactly what's going on here. But 
If you're Noah J, you, you have that slight advantage, throwing down the, the pyramids as well as the floors. That's going to give the added defense there to keep him going in this sky base. But Noah J needs to be very, very careful not to get caught off guard. We're looking at maybe potentially coming up in the end of Noah's materials too. So Kinstar might be in a situation where he can just outshoot. Kinstar doesn't Noah can have do. much. In, in, in he materials. doesn't. And being below and with Noah building, he doesn't necessarily need it. He can just spam fire this out, and we'll see he, what's he happening. A, he's a mini, he's I'm surprised a mini he's not using the minigun, man. The man doesn't have enough mats to get up there. All he, he can do is he shoot. Need, yeah, all he, all he needs to do is just keep firing on Noah. Now, I think Noah might go for a. You're, you're going to uh -oh. see it here in a second. He's going to bounce off the, off the jump pad, fly down, and try and make a play with it because he won't take fall damage. So he can he can bring himself down, get it, Kinstar's elevation. This is it. Here, we, here go. we go. This is it. The minigun comes out. It's going to shred through the structures. Oh my goodness. The rock oh! goes down. He's able to stay alive because he used the bounce pad. Yeah! So stylish. Wow. Make some noise for Noah J. Wow. Look at that smile, that little smirk. He's a happy man. Well done, my friend. Well done. The the, the bounce pad right there at the end you made all it. the difference. You called it. When you have to make an elevation change like that and you have a player stuck below you and you really just need to get down on top of them immediately, there's no better option. Minus maybe the uh, the, the shopping cart attempt. I'll be honest with you. That, I, <laughs> that was going to be per It was going to be perfect. It was worth it. Absolutely. We were so close to witnessing what could only be one of the most ridiculous moments in <laughs> this event. But Noah J gets the win. Congratulations one more time in our first matchup, the Solos matchup.